<laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare Series. And in this episode, we're going to go find the desert. Before we do that, though, we're going to sell all of our shit. So let's grab everything out of here. And um, let's put our glasses on. Uh, we've got a pumpkin cheesecake and a sugar butts that we'll eat uh, before we sell. That way, we'll take our money with us. And then when we run into Trader Bob, hopefully in the desert or any other trader along the way, We'll have some some bank with us in case they have something good. Uh, I spent uh, the night mining, so I got a whole bunch of coal, um, like tw over twelve thousand coal. We got over twelve thousand iron. I got a pretty good ch chunk of nitrate, but I've been uh, cooking the nitrate and the coal up in here. A little bit of lead and some stone and all that. So, uh, yeah, we're we're getting our resources replenished here. And we we're, we should be good for horde night. So we got you know uh, we got everything we need to repair the base, and the base is already uh, repaired and ready to go. So we are good to go on that front. We just have to be back here in time, of course, for the horde night itself. Um. All right. So we've got a few things also in the drop chest over by wrecked. So let's go grab all that. I'm making some repair kits since I now have an abundance finally of glue slash duct tape slash ability to make repair kits. And so we'll repair some of the higher end stuff, but we're not going to repair necessarily everything. Just so we get a little more money for it. Let's run over here and grab everything we have out of our drop chest. And Rekt has probably reset uh, since the last time I was here, but I guess I don't know that for sure. I'm just assuming that because it's been a while since we've been over here, relatively speaking. Uh, wow. Okay. We don't even have everything there that we can take. So let's see. He's definitely not going to buy three sledgehammers for sure. Anything else we have three of, or, or more than three of, I should say. No, it looks like everything else is uh, the normal stuff. So let's keep all of that there. And let's just go ahead and eat that now and those now and then we can grab a couple more things and we'll have to we'll have to come back for those two things there okay so um let's repair this let's repair anything that's blue <clears throat> probably worth repairing well, is it i don't know um, let's repair that. Probably this Kniffy here. Uh, definitely the hammer. Uh, what's that leave us? That leaves us with four repair kits. Okay, oh yeah, let's repair these commando boots. Those are nice boots, but they're medium armor. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll repair this. Don't think I'm going to repair anything else. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's just see what Didn't he'll buy. Did we agree your first job was going to be free? Oh, Damn, um, this is all I can spare. Harvesting challenge. Okay. Uh. Well, okay. We're not, we don't have room for it. Dude, here. Hold Are you on. going to buy some food or just stand there like a goddamn idiot? I'm going to stand here like a not goddamn idiot. Okay, let's sell you this. And this, and that, and this, that, that, we got a skill point, nice. Okay, he doesn't want those. 464 for those, that's nice. All of the cash, of course. Alright, he doesn't want those. I think he'll always buy books, no matter what. All the gold... The silver, the pipe rifle, arrows. Okay, he doesn't want the knife. He doesn't want those. He doesn't want those. 
Oh, well, All right, I guess now, I'm going to have to pay you now that you did it. I mean, I think I'll take the seeds, actually, because we're getting close. Oh, challenge crafting. Okay, how about Fireman's Almanac, reduce collision. Yes, reduce collision damage to vehicles. We'll take that. Uh, okay, don't go away. I'll be right back. Got to grab a couple more things here. Okay, so we'll just stick this stuff in here and grab those two things. Selling to even a dumbass like you. All right, that brings us up to 28 to almost 29,000 coin. Well, don't let the door hit you on your way out. You can now do mushrooms. And we've read that. Okay, let's take a look and see what he has. You got money this time, or are you just here to piss me off? I'm here to piss you off. That's exactly why I'm here. I live for pissing you off. Uh, we'll take this automatic, fully automatic mode. Does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. Okay, we'll take that. We need one more gatherer, two more tarps. Looks like he only has one of each of those. Let's go ahead and buy vehicle adventures. Uh, cooking magazines are so easy to find compared, you know, comparatively. I think we won't buy those, even though we can. We've got lots of money. We're getting elixir is sure cheaper than it used to be. That used to be like 40,000 coin back in the day. Not too long ago, in fact. It's got an agility mod, treasure hunters mod. What does that do? 10% XP, 5% loot stage, treasure radius minus one. Got a steel shovel. Got a yellow SMG. Okay, that's everything we've sold him. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Okay. All right. I think that's good. I think that is good. So that way, like I said, when we go out and do our thing, we will have some cash to take with us. Over 30,000 cash to be precise. I love it. All right. We got gasoline. We got healing stuff. We got money. I think we're good to go. Let's just put these mods in our Duke collectors. So you can take one of those and you can take one of those. We'll grab the water out of both of you. All right, what are you doing? You're working on smelting that stuff. Okay, we'll just let you run. Maybe for about 30 some odd more minutes. You're still working on gunpowder. Okay, we got full stacks of ammo. We got some wood. I'm gonna bring um I'm gonna bring our ratchet with us. I'm gonna bring all of our tools with us, except for we don't need the the junkie and the repair tool at this point. <laughs> Two extra repair kits here. Let's put that back on and we'll put these guys. Well, let's actually take those with us. And maybe if we find something really good, we should maybe take a pumpkin cheesecake with us too. So that's an egg, a pumpkin, a cornmeal, a fat, and one other thing that I can't remember. A beer. How could I forget beer? Let's cook one of those up before we take off. Oh, I'm going to take, um, let's take like three hobo stew and three red tea with us too. So we have some food for the road. All right, let's do this. So I think the route that we're going to take, uh, we're looking for the desert and I know the desert's on the western side of the map. So we're going to go down this highway into this wasteland, and then when we hit this fork in the highway, we're going to go south. 
And hopefully that will start at some point turning west. If it doesn't, um, if we can at least get down to here, you know, then there's highways going west from there. So that's the plan. Let's see what happens. That dire wolf just stepped on a landmine. Wonder how much that softened him up. Should we try and find out? Look at that. Uh, this way. <laughs> I got turned around for a second there. All right. Fan frickin' tastic. Um, I'm not gonna harvest him. Just because we're gonna be on the road for a bit and I don't wanna really pack up our inventory. I am going to check vehicles. I'm not going to salvage vehicles, but I will stop and check them as we go through the wasteland here. Um, nope. I'm going to be very judicious about what we end up taking. This is new territory here. We haven't been down this road yet. Well, uh, we'll take that and eh, I guess I'll take those things we're in perfect health so the vulture shouldn't bother us let's just go down here and grab this these vehicles uh, we'll take that only Well, that's going to get the balls are coming after us. Fucking dog. Oh, shit. Thought you were dead, Big Mama. Are you coming after us, Vulture? All right, let's grab what's in the car. That wasn't worth it. Vultures not attack you when you're hurt anymore? A little bit out of range for us. They don't seem to be coming after me. Maybe you have to... Maybe there's a, some kind of a threshold. Should not be wasting armor-piercing rounds on fucking vultures. Let's just go. If they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. How's that? There's a zombie bear. I don't want to mess with him. I saw how tough those motherfuckers are <laughs> in the last, what, two episodes ago it was? One episode ago? I don't remember. Scary. Okay, we'll read that and we'll take those. Ratchet Quality 5. Beautiful. And it's not lootable. Mm, I'll take. I'll take all of that shit, but some of that we could toss if we had to. Because the thing is, you know, electrical parts, mechanical parts, headlights, all that stuff could very, very, very easily be salvaged. All right, let's open this guy. And we are not going to salvage any cop cars for the rest of this playthrough. Wow. That's pretty lame for a wasteland cop car, I gotta say. Uh, okay, so we are at a fork in the road. Let's deal with this guy so he doesn't cause us problems. And let's deal with this guy so he doesn't cause us problems. Oh, come on. There you go. And I want to look at the map. Interesting. I think, I think what we should do is go west. Go west, young man. Let's do it. This is kind of neat. I've never seen like this 
overpass. Oh, actually, this looks like a pretty big city. Maybe we should go. Oh, shit. Let's go through the city. Let's check it out. Because city. Oh, uh, no. We're not messing with those. We're not messing with those guys. I wouldn't have minded looting those vehicles, but... And you got, like, what, three greenies chasing you? Yeah. Take that. Alright, we're gonna leave the paper. You know what, though? Let's at least take the shit out. Though, I think what happens is... If you leave it in there and then you come back and check it after the loot respawn, it'll instantly respawn new stuff. I think that's how it works. But we got somebody chasing us, so we're not going to do that right now. I'm not on that vehicle, anyway. Mm. Alright, I'm going to pick it up. But it'll go if it needs to. I swear. <laughs> Another La Policia car. Gave up on us already, huh? Got a dude over there. That's more like it. Damn. All right. We might have to go back to using a bow for a bit. Because my guess is that a level 5 compound bow is probably better than a level 4 iron crossbow. Maybe. Um, let's check it. It's not that much better. It's 5.2 damage better, but it actually has less velocity. So, okay. all right, you know what? Um, I could be completely distracted for the whole rest of this episode if we keep doing this. So let's just move through the city. And always come back here later and loot cars and shoot cops and stuff. We will, we will stop for cop cars, but we, we're going to leave everything else for now. As long as we kind of keep... Well, we want to head actually more west than south, I suppose. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, I am. I guess we're gonna read. Look. Oh, geez. Look how much better that is from our tactical assault rifle. Okay. Um. We're retiring our tactical assault rifle. We got an M60 and a level five M60 to boot. Oh my God. Okay. Let's um. Let's remove those things. Oh, we can't put those on there. Interesting. Okay. I think we should be able to put the reflex sight on there, though. Yeah, we can. Huh. Okay, so we'll have to figure out what else we can put on there. So let's put these back on the tactical just to save this, the slots. What a find. Oh, my goodness. And we even got an upgraded miner outfit, too. I think the one I currently have is yellow. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's take this now to free up the slot. And go. we'll, we'll go ahead and eat, too. Ooh. There's a normal bear over there. I thought only zombie bears were in the wasteland. They must have changed that. Okay, so... 
Wow. That's amazing, you guys. Did I? Did I load it? I might... <laughs> I might want to load it if it's actually going to help us. I don't think it works very well as a club. Oh my god, you guys. This is... I can't believe it. <laughs> is that another cop car? No, that's the one we just did. Okay. Whew. Lucky me, huh? Okay, so yeah. We want to move west. So let's just kind of do that. Got some skyscraper buildings here that we can maybe hit later, possibly. I think that's new. Cabo something Krim Demolitions. Never seen that building. In fact, that building looks new also. Oh, nice. New skyscrapers to check out. That building, I think, is the the office building that I that I had a base in at one point in my uh, last. I think it was my last uh, Undead Legacy playthrough. Okay, we need to find a highway out of town, and here's another cop car. Now what are you going to give us? Okay. That doesn't suck. I don't think I'm going to switch over to this because the velocity on the crossbow is actually better than this. And the damage that this has is not that much better. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, Let's put that in there. We could actually make a, a repair kit. Oh shit. That'll save us a spot. Okay, let's go. More cops. Okay, hopefully this road will be a highway all the way out of town here. This is a very good sized city though, so it's a high probability we'll be coming back here at some point and doing stuff. I believe the largest city is in the wasteland and this is probably it. But uh, we have we have some good sized cities in the desert and also in the snow biome too, so. His head's like right. Oh shit, wrong gun. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye on those guys. Oh, that's a. Is that a Trader Hugh? Uh, or I mean, uh, Joel, I think we found another Trader Joel. That's nice. We'll stop in and say hi to him, sell him a couple things, see what he's got for sale. Okay. Another cop car. There's a spider over there. We are a little bit hurt, but the buzzards don't seem to attack you when you're a little bit hurt now. What? What? What the hell? Oh, dude! You're a thing! Alright, I don't want this bugger to puke on us, so let's get a little further out and we'll snipe him down. 
And we do have a highway out of town too, which is amazing. Oh shit. Hey, Booger's dead. Actually, you know what? My name for him is, is Ballsack. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> that's not Booger, that's Ballsack. Come here. Come here, you bastard. Um, let's see. I don't really want to sell any of that stuff. I am going to hang on to that for now. Let's put that gas in there. Anything that's, um, you know, just a basic thing that we can salvage or loot, we're going to sell. Um... Might hang on to the iron, though. We had one more thing of cloth we could make a duct tape, so we'll save those two things. Okay. All right, let's check the vehicles and the fuel and the stations. Yes, thank you. Nice. I get this place a little bit mixed up with Joel's, or I mean, um, Hugh's place, because they're both kind of like log palisade thingies. Is there anything good up here? I don't remember. leads up to here. Well, don't really see anything up here. Let's go look over that way. Not really anything around in there either. Let's go take a look see up here. Don't see anything that way. We have a yeah, we have an ammo pile here. Not really worth the effort though, was it? My favorite customer. What can I get you today? I think I'm your probably your only customer, dude. Um, let's get rid of that stuff. I mean, how many people do you actually have come by here and buy shit from you? <laughs> Especially since you're in the wasteland. I'm just curious, man. That's really stuttery in here. What's that? Enforcer outfit. Crit resist. Okay. I think... Uh, don't I have... Wait a second. Oh, I guess I don't have a helmet light on this. Let's just read all the books because I don't have my... Iron sledgehammer. I don't have my uh, stuff here with me. Probably isn't gonna wanna buy all that, but we'll grab it and try. We'll read this. Definitely isn't gonna want this stuff. Not even two things of paper. Okay, I think that's everything we can loot out of here.
Okay, dude. Let's see what you have for inventory. You're in luck, my friend. Got a nice 44 Magnum. What about tools? Nah. Nothing that's really jumping out at me. What about mods? He's got a triple. That could be useful. He's got a strength mod. He's got night vision. I'd like to get that eventually, but that's not a super high priority right now. Okay, I wouldn't mind getting this. The question is, do we have a place to put it? I'm also just looking at his books here. Okay. Tell you what, if you can make it out the door in three seconds, I won't shoot you in the back. Uh, I think these only have one mod slot, right? Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not giving up that. Um, all right, so I'm not giving up any of the. Well, we could replace the single pocket mod, I suppose, and you would have room. Okay, yeah, let's do that. But I don't think I'm gonna. Raider Joel's is your one-stop shop for all things armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna consume my pumpkin pie uh, or pumpkin cheesecake because he doesn't have anything real big ticket items that I want to buy. So, uh, let's see. We'll sell him that. Uh, those. That. 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 He can have the oil, too, and the brass. I would normally keep the brass. Well, I don't even know why the hell I'm carrying that stuff at all. Okay, let's buy the triple pocket mod from him. Just taking a kind of a quick look at his stuff. Remember, Trader Joel's if you need armor. Uh, what is the enforcer? 44 ammo does more damage, and 44 magnum and desert vulture reloads faster. But this is light armor. I think I'm gonna just fix this up and sell it to him. No, damn it, Jim. Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your armor needs. Yeah, yeah, let's sell that to him. I picked that up again, not meaning to. Come back soon. We restock daily. Mm, daily. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Nice, so that opens up. Should open up. Yeah, wear that. Three more slots for us. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. We'll get there eventually. Just takes a little bit longer in 1.0 than it used to, I think. It's, it sure feels that way anyways. Okay, so we have 30,000 coin left. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything else with him. Knock it off. Okay, well, let's continue heading west. Moving out to whatever new place we decide to live in the desert is going to be a royal pain in the ass. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to think about it. We'll figure it out, though. Maybe what we do is we just move the workstations and our most valuable stuff and leave the rest of it. At least until we get a 4 by or a you know, a gyro or something. Because I don't want to make 5 million trips is a thing. Alright, I'm actually going to leave his giblets. Uh, what's that? Nerd... Fucking nerd gloves. What do they do? Uh, yeah, that's intellect weapon damage. I so don't care about that. Oh, gas. Let's go. Okay. The road's starting to turn south, which is not ideal. But if it flips back around to the west again, which is not looking like it is doing. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Okay. 
let's let's look at the map for a minute. We've got to be. I'll bet you this road meets up with this road. All right. Um. What should I do? Let's just follow this road. I know it just goes to a POI, but let's see how far in it goes. Doesn't look like it's going to go in too far. All right, let's try this one. I think I see like desert, deserty looking mountains off in the distance. Uh, but look what's right on the fucking road. Seriously? Alright. Let's go. This is not the smartest thing in the world to do. Oh, I see the desert. Okay. We're not that far. I don't really mind going cross country in the desert. It's not as bad as the wasteland. Of course, the wasteland's not as bad as it used to be either. Seems like it's a little easier to move through here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the desert. Yay us. This is fantastic. Now we need to find a highway and a city. There's a fox. So I think I think we just keep going west for now. This is great. Very first time in the desert and in, in this playthrough. And it does look like there's a city off in the distance. Yes, there is. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to figure out where this highway uh, goes to. I mean, if we absolutely had to, we could build our own road through the wasteland in the spot that we crossed through. That's not that's not that far. I have done that before. Um, okay, let's see. What should we do? Let's let's go find um, Trader Bob first. Hopefully, he's in this town because we can always, you know, ride around at nighttime looking for following roads and stuff. But we only have a limited amount of time to get to Bob, so let's find him first. Assuming he's in this town, I hope he is. We'll stay on the outskirts for now. Don't seem to be having any temperature issues. We've got the hyperthermal resistance from the fire almanac, and we have one point in the the basic skill to help protect against that kind of thing. But we might not need to worry about that at all. This is a pretty good sized town. It would take us quite a while to loot this place out. Abbasgain County Jail. Just looking at 
the map real quick to see if the trader shows up. If you get close enough to them, they'll show up on the map. Close Encounters Gun Range. Well, that's going to be interesting. It's a four skull place. Oh, okay. Is that just part of the shotgun messiah? Looks like maybe that is the case. All right, let's work our way north. Red Church Residence. There's a, a bookstore. Another one of those Jericho Ranch places. Okay, no Trader Bob so far. Let's keep looking. There's the good old coal mine. I think that's Bob right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. All right, nice. Okay, let's top you off with some fuel, and I don't think there's anything in here we want to sell. Those, see that's, what's the full nerd set do again? Tools and weapons degrade slower. I mean, that doesn't suck, but I think we're going to fix this up and just sell it. Because even the higher end armor pieces still only give you one armor repair kit, or armor kit. I believe. I'll turn you into a duct. Well, in fact, we can do two duct tapes. Um, I'm just going to drink that water. Let's do a, a quick loot ski. Uh, I'll take those two things. No, God damn it, don't scrap that. Oh, I get so trigger happy sometimes. We'll see if we can sell that stuff. Alright, check that. Glad the scrap timer on that wasn't uh, really fast or we would have lost it. That would have been sad. And mad. Gun magazine. Pistol quality six, nice. Our 
armor part. Already checked that dumpster. Okay. Anything back here? There's this and this. Do not enter. Food. Take that chili for the chili dog recipe. Okay, I think that's everything for loading his stuff. Except for, except for this. Okay. Guess we didn't check this. Let's just leave that in there. Those we can scrap. In fact, uh, let's scrap this too and then we'll just sell the scrap to him. I think that's it. Well, hello again. Hello what again. Can I do for you it's on first this time. Fine day. First time I've ever talked to you, Bob. But hello. Okay. What you Look got for inventory, got Mink? Here. Steel pickaxe. He's the vehicle guy. Got an SMG auto turret. He's got a. Double pocket mod schematic. Okay. Oh, excuse me, you got a rattery buffer, but we learned the recipe so we can make that now. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed after recording this. Got a yellow 44. Yeah, see, the thing, <laughs> the thing is, is we've gotten such good weaponry that... There's almost nothing we're gonna to want to buy now. You must have short arms and deep. You looking to rev your engines? Yep. Here you go. We'll rev that engine. You can have that. That. Uh, you want five paper? Didn't think so. Now you can have those. Those. That. Uh, that. And I think that's all I'm going to sell to you. Okay. How much is that? Oh, he's got steel tool parts. I've got six or seven of those by now, though. So I think I'll pass on that. Um, I wouldn't mind having one of those. Do we have room? I don't think we have room in our boots for another mod, though. Tell your friends about me. Trader Bob. Trader Bob. We don't really need these now. They were more important earlier on when we had to be more stealthy. So, if anything, um, why don't you take a look for yourself? I think I might buy these. And why don't we go ahead and consume this? I feel like a banjo. Everyone's picking on me. Ha, 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 that's funny. And we still have our glasses on, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, do you have a sugar butts? You don't. Okay. We'll save ourselves a little bit of money. Saddle my carburetor. I don't think I will do that. Okay, let's buy that. Well, hot diggity dog. I might close up early today. <laughs> hot diggity dog. All right. Modify. Modify. 
And there we go. Now we can actually survive some falls. All right. Very good. Well, hey, it was nice to meet you, Bob. Um, we will definitely come back and do some jobs from you at some point, but not right at the moment. Because our next order of business is to figure out where we're going to set up our permanent base. And it needs to be someplace fairly close to Bobby here. It doesn't have to be right next door, but I don't want to be on the other side of town from him either. 